my name is Kellyanne Rose. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Yoga for Manifesting. We cannot manifest when we're in a state of force or control. So we really have to let go in order to allow our body to receive abundance and manifest what we want and be in a relaxed state. So that's why yoga is important for manifesting. So we have Moxie here. I'm just disrupting her eating um, uh, with me for yoga. So if you see her hopping by, she's my assistant. Without further ado, let's get started. At the end of this class, I will offer a oracle card reading, an intuitive, intuitive oracle card reading for you and for us together. Let's go ahead and start in child's pose today. Bring your knees the width of the mat. Sit back on your heels. Lengthen your arms forward, palms facing down on the mat, forehead to the floor. Begin to notice your breath here. Start with the ujjayi breathing. Constrict the muscles in the back of your throat. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. If you'd like to take a moment first to just notice your natural breathing. Pay attention to any thoughts that come to mind. Perhaps you didn't sleep the best last night. Perhaps you are woken up and there's too much in the news that's stressful. Or perhaps you're already in a complete state of bliss and just ready to bliss your mind out. And stay in this relaxed State. Just get ready for yoga before the speediness of the day ahead. Whatever it is, keep grounding down through your forehead, not either noticing your natural breath or breathing with the ujjayi pranayama, breath through your nose and out through your nose, constricting those muscles in the back of your throat. Notice how your hips perhaps, or maybe the lower back feel, sitting back on your heels. Breathe into your chest. Notice how your heart and lungs fill up with air as you inhale. Holding on the inhale, release through your nose and notice how your belly get smaller. Breathing up your belly again, breathing in air through your throat, down into your lungs and then into your belly. Holding here, releasing through your nose, exhaling it out slowly. One more breath here in through your nose, filling up your nose, your lungs, your heart. Holding the air into your chest, nice and big breath. And slowly relaxing, exhaling through your nose, releasing it out. When you are ready, walk your hands up and sit up into a tabletop. Bring your knees a little bit closer together so they're at a hips length. Inhale, lift your head, lower your belly. 
Exhale, tuck your chin, round your spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right your, lift your right arm high to the sky. Twist your lower back. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm underneath your left shoulder. Place your right ear on the mat. Option to lift your left hand high and place it on your right thigh. Breathe here. Exhale, release. Lift your left hand back high. Place your left hand on the mat. Lift your right hand back high and place your right hand on the mat. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, left arm underneath your right shoulder, left cheek on the mat. Inhale, lift your right arm high. Exhale, right arm rested on your left thigh. Breathe here. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift your right arm high. Place it on your mat. Exhale. Place your left arm on your mat. I invite you to roll your hips, do some lower hip circles. One way around the world and then switch it to the other side. When you are ready, sit back on your heels, interlace your hands behind your back, inhale here, fill up your lungs, chest with air, exhale, widen your knees, bring your forehead to the mat and release with your arms overhead. Place your hands on the mat, step your toes into the mat, straighten your legs, Inhale, lift your hips high. Exhale, lower your heels down to the mat. Push your chin toward your feet. Arms straight, downward dog. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, release. Settle into yourself. How do your ankles feel? can slightly bend the knees if you need to, if it allows you to straighten your back more easily. Otherwise, straighten those legs and heels to the mat. Inhale, right leg high. Bend your right knee. Exhale, circle it out. Create some circles with your foot. Circle out your ankles as well. Bring your right foot down to the mat. Inhale, left leg high. Circle out the knee. Circle out the ankle. Exhale, left foot down to the mat. Step back into child's pose, knees to the mat. The width of the mat, sit back on your heels, bring your forehead forward onto the mat, arms forward. Breathe here. Inhale, sit back on your seat. Spin your feet around. Just settle in here. Exhale it out. Inhale, arms high. 
exhale, place your right arm on your hand on your left knee, left hand behind you, look over your left shoulder. Pull if you'd like on your left knee with your right hand, allowing some friction and stretch in your right shoulder blade. Exhale, release, inhale, arms back to the center. Exhale, left hand on your right knee. Option to bend that left elbow, giving your left shoulder a larger stretch. Right hand behind, look behind. Inhale, arm center, lift them high. Exhale, place your hands back on the mat. Actually, no, we're gonna go into frog, so yes. Place your hands back onto the mat. And this pose here, we're going to widen our knees, the width of the mat. You can either do it with the, long, the length of your mat or you can do it with your the width of your mat, which I'm going to do so that the mat catches my knees. So you're kind of sitting back just like you would with child's pose, however your knees are wider. And then grab a bolster, a blanket or a bolster, whatever is comfortable in front of you. Place your elbows on the bolster and lower down forward. Now you can either stay here or you can lift, come forward even further until your hips are lifted and come as forward as your hips now resting on the floor in front of you. Find a comfortable position where you can lay on the floor. Head down to the floor or your pillow. You're not gonna see me anymore. We're resting here. Natural breathing. As you breathe naturally, feel free to place your hands on the floor, lifting your hips back high to feel the stretch. And so that your hips are over your knees and that's when you're really gonna feel the stretch. This is really great to prepare for your middle splits. Or you can just stay forward in frog. But I like to stretch um, my hips here. Splits are really great for hip flexors, hip openers. And when you are ready, sit back up and this is actually just um, a short class today wanting to bring you into your body your breath sit back in a seated cross-legged position close your eyes bring awareness to that third eye reminding yourself that you are never alone. We are never alone. We have an internal guide inside of us, which is ourself. We're just inside of ourself, literally the spirit living inside a human body. When I focus on that third eye area behind my forehead is when I truly feel at home. I welcome and invite you to do the same. As you are comfortable, um, staying comfortable here, as promised, I'm going to pull a oracle card from the oracle card deck which has been nicely cleansed all throughout uh, class so far with the aromatherapy if there are any intentions you have today or questions you have for me i'm going to fan these out for their cleansing the energy of this deck as you see here Ooh. Feeling a very obvious card that's sticking out to me. We have the heart chakra. 
saying I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships. If there is anyone feeling a little bit more troubled today, need to feel maybe something a little deeper. I'm going to actually pull four, three more, four total. You've got reach for your dreams. I'm the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. So whatever uh, toxic cycles or patterns that are you're facing or that may keep arising in your life, surfacing maybe limited beliefs, remember that you are the creator of your own dreams and just to stay confident and consistent. Then we've got, and I'll show you these. <laughs> that one, we've got the reach for your dreams. And then we've got the at days and rest. So remember that at the end of the day, you're gonna you'll be in rest mode and you can listen to another one of my evening yoga classes to help relax. I kind of feel like it's an end day for me because I literally woke up at like 4 a.m. So I need 4.30, so I'm like, uh, I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> um, and then we have sacred Base. I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty, which also reminds me I'm going to go out into nature today. I hope that whatever you do today, that you have a beautiful, blessed day, that you allow your heart chakra to lead and guide you through your decision making and any um, tasks or conflicts that may arise. Um, sending lots of light and love. I hope you get out into nature as well. Remember to keep your feet exposed to the natural earth it, with the ions and um, negative ions, it brings you a lot of natural anti-inflammatory properties to just ground and earthing without shoes on, but just directly with hands and feet to the earth, whether it's soil or sand or grass. Moxie and I are out. She's over there chewing her hay. Um, this is a short class today, but just keep it positive and may the light and love in me. I honor it. I also see that same light and love in you. And next time I'll get more sleep, but this is all about you. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you on my next video. Namaste.